Okay, so it's the 10th of um, September here, and we've got hopefully some other versions of uh, this album. Unfortunately, urgh, that is not a good sign. That is not a good sign when the box that is marked fragile uh, has several bashes into it. So, yeah, um, is there no pull tab for this? Doesn't appear to be. Oh well, it's coming apart easy enough. This doesn't feel like very strong cardboard. Thankfully, since this is just a picture disc and that, there's no cardboard to bend or break. So, this is Robbie Wood. Yum's XXV or 25 or whatever you want to call it, his new greatest hits. And uh, yeah, this is the website exclusive picture disc. And uh, this was slightly annoying because this was announced and basically put for pre order quite a while after the other versions because uh, I wouldn't have bothered buying um, the uh, blue vinyl, which I believe is what this is. Otherwise, but yeah, it's got a bit of cardboard on here, which, is that the only thing keeping these together? Ah, I see, it's spare tape. Okay, so it's just a bit of, bit of tape on the back. Okay, I've never seen that before where the two picture discs are individually packaged. I'm sorry, this is constantly reflecting off the lights. I'm going to take these out. So yeah, these are... It, I don't know, it, just feel, it feels particularly cheap when it's just like two individual ones. Um, but yeah, and the picture on the back is not what I thought it was. I thought it was just going to be the four variations of Robbie Williams sitting on his impressive toilet. Because <laughs> that was my reaction to it. Um, but yeah, I ha Yeah, uh, ooh. There's a little... Fleek just there, will that come off? Yeah, well it shouldn't... Hopefully shouldn't affect any playback. I'm hoping. Uh, the Amazon exclusive one, which I unboxed previously, that one was actually pretty well pr pressed on that and didn't really need much cleaning it off any excess bits or anything. So there's the legendary Rock DJ underwear. Whether it is the actual ones or just a replica, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I... It's annoying when picture discs don't have any packaging whatsoever and this just feels a bit especially lazy since it's just two individual PVC uh, vinyl record sleeves. Like not even the conjoined type ones, it's just two individual ones. The only thing keeping them together is this bit of cardboard which also has the track listings on, although the track listings are on the records themselves. There's a red or purplish variant. She's the one I skate there. So, yeah. Okay. Still waiting on the cassettes to arrive, so that'll be a future uh, video, and that'll be the last version that I get. So. In fact, this actually could be the this might be the cassettes because it does feel uh, light, pretty light actually. It might actually be, yeah, it can't be a record because it's too shallow. This might be the cassettes. Yes, it is. Okay, why they sent the cassettes in such a massive, massive box, I don't know. But here they are. They all are. And, uh, hey, look at that. These are in plastic boxes, you know, 
proper, or should I say proper cassette boxes, not these uh, crappy cardboard ones which always get damaged because they get crushed in the post. And some people, ha some people have literally said to me in the past, oh, it's because the companies, you know, care about the environment and they want to see if I'm plastic. It's just like, no, they don't. If you think any company cares about that, then no. It's just to save money, basically. But uh, let's un unwrap all of them. It's just to save money. Um, the thing is, is that... But the thing is, though, it's not even like... This isn't single-use plastic. This is the box for these you know like for example imagine you bought um, a blu-ray and it can't and it didn't come you know in a box that would actually protect it a plastic box you know you'd be like what the hell is this anyway, here's the blue cassette which is shining off everything oh it's a screwed one even better, it's a screw one, because normally uh, these are welded ones, but okay, so it's a screw case. That's good if I ever need to lubricate it. Getting into it and that. Let's open it up. So we do get a little bit of a buckle in there. Okay, that's quite nice actually. Instantly a nicer release. Um, it's, it makes it also a bit annoying because uh, this was thirty-five pounds plus I think a five a postage for the picture disc, and then later on, and they also did a deal uh, with the cassettes bundled with a CD as well, and well, I think um, fifty-five, and I'd already ordered the cassettes by that point. As I say, oh well. Here's the red one, which I think will probably be my favourite. It's nice though, at least some... I mean, it's obviously not up to the artists themselves, it's up to their label. But, you know, it's at least nice that some artists are still releasing the cassettes, you know, in proper, in proper you know, cassette boxes. Because normally those cardboard ones in the past would only be reserved... For say cassette singles or free ones you got in the paper. There you go. Again. Yeah. Let's rub on that. I'll just take the book out just so we can have a nice uh, other look at it. And uh, inside is exactly the same. Now, interestingly, um, I don't know why, but there's also several versions of the CD, the standard edition CD, which just has the standard 19 tracks. And you can get, obviously, the alternate artwork and uh, coloured CD if you wanted to. I don't think it's quite the same because it's just literally, you know, the artwork or the colour of the CD, the print on it. Whereas this with the cassette is actually the colour of the actual cassette itself. That's different each and every time. Okay, so yeah, um, but there we go. So this one's the pink one. Oh wow, those hubs look uh, completely familiar. Couldn't quite see the hubs on the other ones. I guess I guess noticed. I think these might be from different. Yeah, these are from different suppliers. If you look at the hubs on this one, and then on this one, and you can see the inner layer bit, yeah. Well, they might be from the same supplier, but yeah, this one uses different tape. And it must be as well, because this one's also welded, so yeah, this one might have came from a different supplier. Because this is a welded one. Okay, that's interesting, that is interesting. That might sound completely superfluous to most people, or completely boring. But yeah, it's interesting that it's using... Possibly a different supplier for the pink one. It might be the same supplier. Player though, and it's just good. But yeah, it's interesting the others are screwed and that one's a welded. 
and finally the green. And the green one is a screwed one like the others. So yeah, it's interesting that the pink one's the only one that's like that. I think the green one is a UK exclusive or something like that. I can't remember. Well, I think one of them was an exclusive. And that, although as far as I'm aware, all of them are exclusive to the Robbie Williams website. I haven't seen them anywhere else. But uh, yeah, there we go. There's all the cassettes. So yeah, just uh, the blue vinyl and that to come and unbox but uh yeah there we go so there's all all the cassettes there and uh the picture discs so yeah there we go